welcome to edupediaworld.com in today's video let's learn about advantages and disadvantages of friction friction plays a very important role in the mechanics of life our everyday life it would just be impossible for a person to walk on a friction free surface friction is also necessary for operations of many small things in our daily lives like the belts pulleys clutches and brakes nails and screw remains fixed where they are driven because of friction friction helps us to walk or move over any given surface it would be difficult for us to walk if there is no friction between the ground and the floor friction also helps us to stop and control movement for example the brakes of car or the brakes of bike without friction it is difficult for anybody to sit on the chair or even stand at a place it is also difficult to fix a nail on the wall or a screw in a wooden block if there is no friction friction helps in supporting a ladder inclined to a wall as shown in the picture had there been no friction the ladder would just fall off from the wall now it is the force of friction between the belt and the pulley that helps in rotating various parts of a machine we have seen most of the advantages of friction let us now see disadvantages of friction when one body moves over other the frictional force comes into play in order to overcome this frictional force some energy is used up which dissipates in the form of heat energy and the perfect example is right in front of you that is when we rub our hands there is friction created between our hands this friction causes the heat to be generated which is lost now when the heat is lost we feel warm after rubbing our hands what does this cause this causes wear and tear the wear and tear is due to the excessive friction and this leads to reduction in the efficiency of every machine that we see around us now after we have gone through the advantages and disadvantages of friction let us now study how can we increase the friction or reduce the friction let's first take a look at the methods of increasing friction there are three methods as shown firstly by making the surface rough secondly by using a dry surface and thirdly by increasing the weight of the object now let us have a look at each one of them what happens when we make the surface rough as we have studied earlier if a person is trying to move an object over a smooth surface then the force of friction is less over a smooth surface whereas over a rough surface the force of friction is very large and thus the, it is difficult to move an object so if we want to increase the friction we need to increase the force of friction and hence use a rough surface rather than using a smooth surface and what happens when we make use of dry surface now we have two different cases over here in the first picture you can see we have an object and a surface but between the object and the surface we have a layer of oil which is a smooth surface whereas in the other case the object is directly placed over this so now what happens when i move when i apply a force to each of these objects the objects which is placed over the oil obviously moves very easily and moves faster because it is over a smooth surface that is over the oil this is basically because over a smooth surface again the force of friction is very less and so the object moves very fast whereas in the second case the force of friction is very large and hence the object doesn't move so freely it just goes to a smaller distance and stops so by making use of a dry surface we can increase the friction again by increasing the weight also we can increase the friction let's see what happens here take a look 
the 5 kg's weight which is lesser moves faster and moves very easily over a surface as compared to a 15 kg weight that is because if the weight is high if the weight is more then it is difficult to move this object over any surface that is exactly because again the force of friction for a heavy weight over a surface will be more than as compared to the force of friction in case of a lighter object. So we have seen that there are three methods of increasing the friction. Firstly, by making use of the rough surface. Secondly, by using a dry surface. And thirdly, by increasing the weight of the object. Let's now study some of the methods of reducing friction. First method is use of lubricating oil. There are various lubri liquid lubricants which are thick or thin oils that are used in the machines to reduce the friction. For example, you must have all plate carom boards wherein you use a fine powder to reduce friction so that all the wooden coins move freely on the carom board. In other cases, High speed machinery. In, in such high speed machinery, films of gas under very high pressure are used as very successful lubricants. Next is use of ball bearings. In order to reduce the friction between the parts of a machine, ball bearings are often used. Here, hard steel balls are introduced between the moving parts. This reduces the friction considerably. The free wheels of bicycle, the axle of motor cars and the shaft of electric motors are examples of places where ball bearings are often used. These ball bearings reduce the friction and makes the parts, various parts of machinery move very freely. Third method is use of polished surface. We also again know that a very polished or a smooth surface will have very less force of friction and hence the, it reduces the friction. Use of air cushion is another method of reducing friction. If the two solid surfaces are separated by an air cushion, then the frictional force is reduced to a much greater extent. This is because the two surfaces do not come in direct contact with each other. This is also the principle of hovercraft which can travel over rough land or sea with the help of an air cushion. Thank you for watching the video.